What's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome to episode one of Town Hall 10 in 2021. Oh yeah, boys. We finally made it to Town Hall 10, man. I'm going to tell you right now, Town Hall 9 was a lot of fun, but it is definitely time to move into a more advanced level with a ton of upgrades. Now guys, this is the second time that I have played through Town Hall 10 in the last year and a half. We've already completed one full series of traditional upgrading, doing it free to play in the town hall 10 free to play series the link for that is down in the description below if you want to see if it's been done before for yourself i understand that not everybody out there is a believer but we're going to be doing it again and we're going to do it again free to play based on the last episode because a lot of players out there just love that free to play gameplay and what that means exactly is that we are not going to be buying any gems and we are not going to be buying any gold season passes we're going to do this whole thing traditional upgrade from start to finish basically from where we are right now to max the max level for this town hall level and we're going to start out today with this upgrade priority guide to get you started if you are a brand new town hall 10 so what to build first what to upgrade first and also talk about the six builder and also show you how long it should take you if you upgrade every single day now let me get you started with a little bit of base orientation for those of you out there that are looking at my village and you're trying to compare to your own we did fully max out at town hall 9 to include a level 30 barbarian king and archer queen and then also the laboratory was fully maxed out so it is definitely time to upgrade this thing and get it back to work now we are working with five builders if you do not have five builders for some reason be sure to check out my how to get free gems from clash of clans and i will link that down down in the description below it's basically showing you where all the free gems are located that way you can obtain them and unlock the fourth and fifth builder so let's go ahead and get into the shop and take a look at what's new and also start out with our very first task building the brand new stuff that should be the very first thing that you should do when you get to a new town hall level and the reason behind that is because we have new defenses and the higher level town hall tens already have these defenses and we need to upgrade them and we need to try to defend ourselves so we got a brand new cannon a new archer tower 25 pieces of new wall we also have a bomb tower a new expo and two brand new defenses in the inferno towers then moving into traps we have the air bomb seeking air mine giant bomb and we also had a skeleton trap but i already placed it my bad so we're going to go ahead and place these new buildings and traps and i'm going to use only one builder to do this now you do not need a builder to place traps but you do need a builder to place the other defenses and we're going to go ahead and start by dropping our traps and then we're going to drop our first defense i'm going to wait a few minutes and then i'm going to switch into a progress base that way we can walk you through the entire upgrade priority guide so this is a progress base. We use progress bases to lay out our buildings in the manner that we plan on upgrading the village. And that's exactly how I have it organized. Now, if you want to follow along with this series, I will link this base down in the description below for you. And we've already started out by using one builder to start our very first task, build the brand new buildings. We got our cannon placed, archer tower placed, and now the bomb tower, which is gonna take exactly one day to build. We also placed the brand new traps and added them to the locations where the other traps are in the order. And we're gonna start out with our very first upgrade. So we're gonna start out number one in the laboratory. And the laboratory is upgraded first because we have to start upgrading troops. Now I always target my offense first because a stronger offense leads to more loot and more three stars. That way you can enjoy the game. Obviously we want to defend our bases, but attacking is equally as important and it's more important to you because you're having a good time when you're three starring other players bases so we're going to start out with this laboratory and i'm going to use a hammer of building to knock this out if you do not have a hammer of building it's going to cost you two days and 2.5 million elixir to do so but by using the hammer of building i'm saving my elixir and i'm also instantly upgrading it that way we can put something down for upgrade inside so i'm going to go ahead and swing this hammer and we will go to level eight by 
clicking this button and now we have a level eight laboratory and inside i'm gonna go ahead and start out with the barbarian and the reason behind that is because i need to unlock my miner by upgrading the barracks and then we're gonna go ahead and move into our clan castle. Now, because I'm in clan war leagues and I have to face off against a higher town hall level, I need to upgrade my clan castle. And the reason behind this upgrade is because when you upgrade your clan castle, you gain five more housing in troop space, meaning you can request an electro dragon and a balloon, or you can request a golem and a hog rider or something. Anyways, regardless of what you request, you gain more space you also gain the capacity for the siege machine so at town hall 10 you can now request siege machines from higher town hall levels the only downside and the biggest change here is that you can only get the siege machine at level 3 from town hall 12 so even if a higher town hall level donates to you it will be reduced down to level 3 just be aware of that so you're not surprised that you did not get a maxed out siege machine when you request so we're going to go ahead and upgrade our clan castle with 5 million gold and because of the town hall event that just passed we gained a book of building we're going to go ahead and use a book of building to finish this upgrade that way i can use my new added space in clan war later on today Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Joe's on to something here, huh? All right. So we knocked out the laboratory. We've knocked out our clan castle. Let's move into our army camps. So by upgrading your army camps, you increase your camp housing space from 220 points up to 240 points, which means that you can bring more troops and you can have a stronger army. So by upgrading these from the start, you'll have uh, more increased wins more increased three stars more loot stolen by having more troops so we're going to go ahead and spend three million elixir and upgrade our army camp to level eight we're going to start with one and do one at a time it doesn't necessarily matter if you want to knock all of them out at once you can choose to do so that's up to you but the next upgrade after that is going to be the barracks to level 12 and by upgrading the barracks to level 12 you unlock the miner and the miner is amazing for stealing dark elixir and we're going to going to need a lot of dark elixir since we need to upgrade heroes so we're going to spend three million elixir to upgrade only one barracks remember i'm still in clan war so i got to make sure that i can still train in an army and when you upgrade all four of these or upgrade more than one everything slows down when it comes to training an army and you'll be waiting almost 45 minutes to an hour to train an army and that gets really annoying and you'll you'll just quit <laughs> you'll close out the game and not open it again so to avoid any confusion or doubts on what I've explained thus far. This one single builder is going to be used on these brand new buildings. He's going to build the brand new expo and both of the inferno towers. And then he's going to stay here and he's going to upgrade all these new defenses to the equal level of what's on the base already. I'm just that OCD. It's just a method. It's how I choose to do it. It works just about every single time and he will stay focused on those defenses. Now, when it comes to these builders over here, this builder here is going to upgrade upgrade this camp this camp and this camp we're just going to keep going down the line then this builder is probably going to upgrade another barracks once this one has concluded this builder is going to go over to a barbarian king or the archer queen and the remaining builder is going to go to the other hero because you have to start on these heroes from the very beginning if you plan on maxing them before you ever go to town hall 11 and you want to use them i promise you it can be done it's just going to take a little bit of grinding of dark elixir but once we get those miners things will get a lot easier and i will show you how to do it in the upcoming episodes so hopefully that clears up any confusion there we will be moving into the spell factory once our barracks have concluded now when it comes to the spell factory you will unlock the clone spell but the downside when you upgrade this is that it takes five days and you cannot train spells other than the dark spells unless you upgrade both of these spell factories at the same time so you got to make sure that you have either a hammer of building or a book of building to make sure that you get this knocked out that way you don't have to go spellless for a couple days and that becomes very brutal 
brutal and it's not a lot of fun especially if your clan's putting you in clan where you do not want to do that and then you have to upgrade the dark spell factory which unlocks the bat spell it's a lot of fun to play with and i'll show you how to use it as we move forward but it also takes about six days to upgrade as well so those are some things that you have to take into consideration now you might have questioned why the dark drill the elixir pumps and the gold mines are off to the right of this i play the game a lot so i farm a lot so you don't really need to upgrade these immediately unless you take a lot of time off then you might want to move this group to the very beginning and start out with those because that's a lot of passive income so our next upgrade my next upgrade after the spell factories is going to be moving into the dark drills then the elixir drills and then the gold mines mainly because we have hero upgrades and we have laboratory upgrades that we have to focus on so all the passive income helps out quite a bit when you can get it then we're going to move into our traps a lot of players might question this but because we have this one builder over here working on these new defenses we don't really need to worry about these new defenses he's just going to focus on them and we're trying to avoid getting our base completely out of balance meaning that the defenses are close to maxed out and the heroes in the lab are very far behind we'll show you an example of that later on in the video so we're going to knock out our traps and then we're going to move into our expos we're going to upgrade our defenses in the air defenses our wizard towers and then we're going to move into the hidden teslas this is well after all the offense is complete so once the offense is complete you're going to have a lot of elixir flow you can dump your elixir into your walls that way you can spend all your gold on your defenses and we're going to work in this order right here hidden teslas air sweepers archer towers once cannons once archer towers twice the second time and then the cannons the second time and then move into the mortars and the bomb towers and then we're basically finished now when it comes to your walls all excess loot so if you're farming or if you're in clan games you always dump your excess loot into your walls if you have nothing that you have to upgrade or you have defenses that are going to take a really long time and you don't want to wait you can spend the resources on your walls all right, so that is a lot of information. And some of you guys out there might be questioning, why did he put defenses at the end of the priority listing? Why am I gonna upgrade those last? Well, there's a reason behind that, and I'm gonna show you that right now. We're on the Clash Ninja website. Now, this is a website that I use to track all of my villages. The link for it will be down in the description below. And it helps out quite a bit. It tells me when I need to farm. It also shows me when the Clan War Leagues are coming. It shows me when the next Clan Games is coming. It's got all this other information that is phenomenal for tracking your base progress that way you don't have to work very hard and that's one of the points of playing the game you don't want to turn it into work so we have this little section here that shows how long the clan war leagues is going to be active as well as the clan games the league reset this is the time frame that i upgrade my heroes and it also has the season end for the season pass that way you do not miss out on those free books of heroes you guys know what I'm talking about, right? That free book of heroes is important. Let's go ahead and jump into the upgrade tracker and you're gonna notice that I have a lot of my bases already listed on this website. Let's jump into the Joe version nine account, which is the town hall 10 that we just showed you. And there is a completion status. You'll see that our defenses, our structures are already ahead of the laboratory heroes and walls already. I mean, that's not good. <laughs> it's really not good because this is how you rush to town hall 11 by mistake. Let me show you this. So let's go ahead and jump Jump into the stats tab and I want to take a look at this little left section over here you'll see structures lab heroes walls and then there's timelines under here as well as how much resources are required to complete this stuff and you'll see that under structures we got two months 19 days and 14 hours only two months to max out your village if you start out with your structures so this is why the structures are at the end of the priority listing and not at the beginning. Because when we jump into our laboratory, that's gonna take six months, 15 days, and 12 hours. Now the best way to speed that up is to either keep it upgrading nonstop or add in the use of hammers of fighting and hammers of spells from your Clan War League medals. That's what I choose to do. Not everybody likes to do that, but that's how I do it and that's how I speed up my laboratory. And then the heroes takes about three months, four days, and zero hours to max out so overall 
you will see that the laboratory and the heroes take longer than your structures. So if you start out with your structures at the beginning of your priority guide, you'll max out your village and you'll be ready to go to Town Hall 11 and your heroes and your lab will be very much behind and you're going to absolutely hate the next highest level. And last but not least, the final note for you today. At Town Hall 10, you can unlock a six builder. But then again, this is all based on how much progress you made on your build builder's base i know look at this this is just horrible isn't it <laughs> this was something that i was trying to work on so i'm going to definitely recommend that you check out my how to obtain the six builder fast video the link for that is down in the description below we've already completed it once and it's just one of those things that once you've done it once it's really hard to do it again and that was something that i was trying to do but clearly i did not make it very far i just got burnt out many many times but we're going to try to pick back up on it and we are building an army camp right now the next building to upgrade is going to be the builders hall to builders hall 9 and once that's complete then we can unlock the auto hut and start working on the task there and that's how you unlock the six builder but again make sure you check out that video down in the description below it will make a lot more sense to you because it's just a lot of information just like this whole video so when we jump back over to our home village you will see that i have reset my base back to the defensive base we will have a new base in the upcoming days once we gain our inferno towers and remember that builder that i was holding on to for my heroes well i figured since i'm going to be in clan war leagues for like at least two days i went ahead and put down the expo so we've started building the brand new expo alongside the brand new bomb tower so we're going to keep going with uh, the priority guide that was listed earlier once that builder's done he's going over to a hero so make sure that you start doing those heroes if you want to obtain level 40 heroes in a relatively good time frame because it doesn't take really that long but it can be kind of grueling to some players that don't play every single day now i understand that a lot of players out there do not play every single day so you don't understand how to speed up your villages the best way to do it free to play is to make sure you keep your builders building something at all times so make sure that you don't have an idle builder doing nothing because he could be working on something of importance that could speed up max out your village as quickly as possible and then also don't forget that you always have the option for the gold pass that is by far the fastest way to speed up the progress of any village especially down here in the lower town hall levels and i do believe that that's going to finish this up for today guys uh we will do a laboratory upgrade priority guide in the upcoming days once that barbarian is done i'm going to prepare a full list for you that way you have something to work on in your laboratory obviously the miner is going to be one of the the first ones because he's one of the best farmers in the game at town hall 10 if you enjoyed today's content make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you would like to see the town hall 10 free to play series from 2020 click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care